This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Forget the frustration of picking commerce platforms when you switch your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you sell. With Shopify, you'll harness the same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash tech. Why take one vacation with the family when you could take all of them? With Royal Caribbean, you don't just go to the beach. You visit a private island and race down the tallest water slide in North America. You don't just go for a road trip. You ATV and zip line through the jungle. You don't just go somewhere new. You rappel down waterfalls and discover ancient temples. Because this isn't just any vacation. This is all the vacations. Come seek the Royal Caribbean. Ships Registry, Bahamas. Hey guys, welcome to this week's podcast episode. And I've got a fantastic guest for you today. He's a big time influencer, Daniel Den. Um, He's, you know, been everywhere and he's been fascinated with marketing and sales. Um, he's got a fantastic product that I highly recommend that you check out. It's called the Ideas That Influence, and he helps business owners discover wildly successful marketing ideas. Um, I'm really happy to have Daniel on the show and i um, uh, looking forward to this conversation. So welcome, Daniel. Hey, Chris. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate, appreciate you. It's a huge honor and privilege to be here on the Financial Freedom for Physicians podcast. I, uh, I've seen what you've been able to do, Chris, and how you've been able to coach so many people to that financial freedom that we're all looking for. So congratulations. Like, that's why people love you, Chris, and they they love the Financial Freedom Podcast. Thank you so much. Yeah. And I, like I said, I'm really doing this to kind of show people kind of the way and other showcasing people that are doing things on the cutting edge, such as yourself. So, um, you know, talk about, you know, you're, you've been in this game for a while and how you got started, you know, early pitfalls, and now you're this wildly successful um, influencer, uh, you know, personality, celebrity. So, um, and uh, I'm just curious about their story. Thank you. I I would I would I wouldn't say I'm a celebrity, but thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Definitely, but but interestingly enough, my business partner down in Brazil. Um, so when we grew our following uh, down in Brazil, so we have content in English and content in Portuguese, we got a following of over 2 million people. And it got to the point where Pedro did not feel comfortable going shopping anymore because every single time he went shopping, he would get spotted and people would stop him, ask him questions and take pictures as well every single time. And so we do know a little bit about if people are like looking to get to that celebrity status. We we kind of we kind of started to get a little taste of that. I was spotted a few times down in Brazil as well when I would like walk around the malls and stuff. They'd be like, "Oh, Daniel Dan." I was like, "Whoa, this is this is pretty crazy." Like apparently, if you get popular on the internet enough, then people really do start to spot you in real life, which you know, isn't the most comforting thing to discover <laughs> because sometimes we like to hide behind the computer screen a little bit like, uh, right, Chris? <laughs> I know I, I know I do at least. Um, of course, I love, you know, meeting people in real life and doing events and stuff. But long story short, with everything that we've done over the past 12 years, you know, ups and downs, pitfalls and everything, um, I started to do really well with online marketing uh, about 12 years ago. And at the same time, um, I met my business partner down in Brazil and we realized that there was a blue ocean. If you've read the, you know, blue ocean strategy book and all that, we were like, there's a blue ocean here in Brazil. Like we have this insider knowledge that very, very few people know and nobody's talking about. So we have some really unique business strategies, our methodology, it's the X factor effect methodology. And we started to uh, fine tune our methodology and we started to help business owners down in Brazil. And it was an absolute game changer for the business owners that we were helping. And now we've spread our methodologies 
further than Brazil, we have, you know, customers all over, all over the world, clients all over the world that we've been able to help with our methodologies. And the basis of the methodology is all about breaking through the noise because in 2024, there's a lot of noise. And so our big thing is marketing and sales, breaking through the noise. Um, there's a Forbes, Forbes article recently that came out, Chris, that says we're all exposed to about four to 10,000 different marketing pieces and advertisements every single day, which is just absolutely insane, four to 10,000. So the question is, how do we break through the noise and be that one thing today that people remember? And that's what we focus on. And that's what we, we help our clients do. Yeah. Amazing story. And I really want to, um, because I really, because uh, I read the book and um, the ideas that influences and you've uh, one thing that I really got intrigued about is these ideas that go viral and you give like, for example, like, um, you know, Kennedy's speech um, or just like these big time ideas that just sort of, you know, Gandhi and, you know, these, uh, you know, Black Lives Matter or, um, you know, all these things. So talk about how a idea becomes viral and that's like your, that's like your, that's like your golden nugget around to market your message. Uh, so when it comes, so what we've noticed is that there's like different elements. And if you have enough of the right elements in your marketing message, then you're, you're going to make some noise. Like people are going to notice you. And depending on what the purpose is of your message, you could start to grow a movement or become known, become an influence or an influencer, or you could sell more real estate, or you could sell more of your products or services, or you could grow your business and become a market leader or a category king or category queen. So we notice it's like it's it's formulaic because um, Chris, you seem to be a really creative guy, and I naturally also am like creative now if you're creative eventually in life you realize that other people are not creative <laughs> and it's not that they can't come up with good ideas it's that they need a little bit of like a formula for what makes a good idea and yeah. then the more you give them examples and the more formulaic you make it the easier it is for them to spot what makes a good idea that could potentially have that virality that we're talking about. Yeah. So it's all about the elements. If you want, I can start to hit on a few of those elements. But what are your thoughts on what I said, Chris? Yeah. And like, uh, I mean, it's just, I'm just curious, like, you know, the, because basically your idea, I mean, the whole, in this information age, we have abundance of, ideas now so it's kind of like these ideas are commodities but if you can um grow a community or a movement or um you know get what they call in tech as network effects um that you know that really can really be powerful and change the world and that's how you get movements and that's how you get social change which is uh the other thing is um you know these because ideas they come and go they're very fickle some of them last long time some of them you know, quickly die. So how do you, um, how do you become uncopyable? Cause I know you also talk about, you know, your moat and just, um, become your, that category of one. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. That's actually one of the elements. Um, one of the seven elements, since we'll hit on a few of those for your ideas, this goes for any product or service or idea or speech or YouTube video, whatever it is, one of the elements is that it needs to have an X factor. So you need to have something that makes it different, unique, stand out in some way, because the human mind is addicted to novelty. We are all addicted to things that are new. And so when it comes to the X factor effect and having an X factor, sometimes it can be one thing. So maybe I'm like, ah, there, like there's this really cool picture of me where um, I was wrapping up on stage. And so maybe I'm like the uh, the marketer rapper. Now that was a one-time deal and I didn't like create my brand around it, but like like I had the full get up where I like, you know, rapper, but I was in my suit and like I had the glasses and, you know, like I looked like amazing. If you've ever seen the picture, then you know what I'm talking about. And so I could be known for like, 
that one thing. And that could be my X factor, my main X factor, where I'm like the marketer rapper that just, you know, top, you know, top to bottom just looks slick up there on stage and is just, you know, mic dropping after every performance. That could be me. That could be me. Um, now that was, uh, that was a really fun thing that I did one time and it's not me. I'm not a professional rapper, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna try to turn that into my brand, but that is a sticky X factor element, like something that's different. Like it catches attention. In fact, when I did that, that rap up on stage during that speech, I got three standing ovations. So in the beginning of the speech, I rapped and then people loved it. And oh, first standing ovation in the middle of the speech, I got a second standing ovation. And then at the end of the speech, I got a third standing ovation, three standing ovations in one speech. <laughs> <laughs> That's the power of an X factor, right? So, but when it comes to becoming a category of one and being a complete unicorn inside of your market, what we teach is to stack the differences and stack them on a way so that you can become uncopyable because it is copyable for somebody else to be like, I am also a, a rapper marketer guy, <laughs> like, because it's just one difference. Right. Yeah. But if you stack those differences in a way that like, you're so, you're so unique that it's really hard to copy. So what if I was the rapper marketer guy that only spoke to physicians? Okay. I'm the only rapper marketer guy that speaks to physicians. Okay, and then what if I niche down even more and I do it in Portuguese, right? And I'm the only one that did it in Portuguese. Okay, now, if somebody came along and they're like, I am also going to be just like Daniel Din and be the rapper marketer guy that specifically helps physicians in the Portuguese language, <laughs> it's going to get to the point where it is what? Laughable, right? where it's so obvious that somebody was trying to copy exactly what I was doing, that it becomes laughable. And that's what we want to do to become categories of one inside of our business. We want to stack like two, three, four, five really big differences yeah. that make a difference. And we want to stack them in a way where if somebody tried to copy all of your differences, it would be laughable. Yeah. Really interesting. And, um, you know, a lot of, um, because, uh, you know, since we're talking about physicians, um, you know, a lot of uh, physicians, um, they struggle with social media because they um, either they want to have that privacy or, you know, a lot of them are uh, introverted. And um, so how do you, you how do you get your ideas out if you are introverted or kind of shy or, you know, you think, you know, people aren't going to listen to your ideas? You know, what are some strategies? One strategy I like to do whenever people say that, like if they don't want to be the attractive character, I say, guess what? You don't have to be the attractive character if you make your products and services the attractive character. And I actually tried to do that with the ideas that influence box experience. So um, little known fact, uh, out of all the buyers, the people that buy my ideas that influence box that comes with the book and it comes with the five experience envelopes, one out of three buyers post about it on social media yeah. without me asking them to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Why now they're not posting about me. They're posting about my product. They'll mention me, but the product is the star because it's so unique and cool what I did, what I built. And it's like an experience and people love to do like unboxing videos. In fact, you did one as well, Chris. I remember like you posted one on Instagram. I sent you a box and you post and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you did that. Thank you so much, Chris. And like, you didn't even buy it. I, I just gifted you one and then you posted about it. I was like, this is incredible. <laughs> now, when you posted and when you did that unboxing video, you tagged me but you didn't plaster my face anywhere. Like you weren't like, and here's a picture of Daniel Dan. Like, <laughs> look how cool he is. No, you were like, look at how cool the product is. Like, look at how unique this product is. And so one of the hacks when it comes to standing out in our markets is you don't have to be, you know, that celebrity expert person. Now, if you are in addition to everything you're doing inside of your business. It's 
bonus. It's an extra. It's another way you're being different. It's another way you're stacking those differences. But you being that celebrity doesn't have to be one of your differences. You can literally make the products your stars. And Steve Jobs is a great example of that because Steve Jobs wasn't a household name necessarily. Like he was known in the business community, but he wasn't a household name until he launched the iPhone. The iPhone was such a star and it was such an industry disruptor that the iPhone elevated Steve Jobs as the creator of, and of course his team helped and the whole company <laughs> helped, but you know, Steve God, Steve, Steve Jobs gets the credit, right? Example of, okay, the iPhone elevated Steve Jobs and your products and services, if you differentiate them in a way and you make them unique enough in a way where they break through the noise, those products and services that you have innovated can help elevate you. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Um, so, uh, you know, I love this. Uh, we have around 10 minutes. One question is, um, these uh an example from the book where a specific idea um greatly influenced one of your um readers or how the readers apply the strategy to their own businesses and did well um uh just kind of success stories um you know for the audience right 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 well so the easiest way to 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 pull out one of those examples is probably to share another one of the elements um so one of the things that we say is we want to evoke emotion. And then another thing we say is we want to share a story. Okay. Yeah. So we have, we share this as an example, one of our students in Brazil, his name is uh, Cristiano. And um, he is the, known as the Batman of Brazil, <laughs> the Batman of Brazil. And he, he was given the legal authority by Warner Brothers, back when Warner Brothers had like the licensing rights to the Batman name, now we know it's DC, but Warner Brothers gave him permission to call himself the Batman of Brazil. And legally, he is still allowed to call himself the Batman of Brazil. Uh -huh. And the reason why they let him do it was because he created this Batman outfit and he started to go and do charity work inside of hospitals. And he started to become really well known through news articles that he would go and he would help children with cancer and other sick children like have faith. And he helped, he did help some of them have enough faith and have enough courage to overcome their sicknesses. Of course, he's not the cure, right? But he brought hope to these children. Yeah. And while, while he was in these hospitals, bringing hope to all these children, he started to become known and he started to have all of these really cool emotional experiences and stories, but he didn't have an outlet for those emotional stories mm -hmm. until we actually invited him to one of our events down in Brazil. And at that specific event, I think it was our event where we had 4,000, we had about 4,000 people. And uh, we invited him on, up on stage and he was wearing his about Batman uniform. And it looked like he had just stepped off the movie set. Like he, he, like he is Batman. Like he looks like Batman. If you search Batman in Brazil, you'll see what I'm talking about. You know, top to bottom, like this guy is bat. Like this guy is Batman and he's, on stage and he's sharing these extremely emotional stories yeah. and like people are crying in the audience and like people are getting inspired and that kick started for him a speaking career and now he has his own book and uh he gets invited to do speeches all the time and share these stories at multiple events and so he um he was a gym owner at the time. He eventually started making so much money doing speeches and and and, uh, and inspiring people and me, being invited to all these different events that he sold his gym and, and stopped doing that. So anyway, um, he was able to uncover what we would say is multiple elements for effective messaging that breaks through the noise. Like it's undeniable. So Cristiano Zanetta is his name. He has an X factor. He evokes emotion. He shares the most amazing stories. He is sticky and shareable. And these are these are all elements that that make 
marketing messages break through the noise. He provides multiple aha moments. He puts his audience center stage. He makes it all about the people he's talking to. Like he relates every single story. Like every single story has a purpose. It wow. like helps the person that's listening to the story understand why it's relevant to them and how it can help improve their own life. And then his message is focused. Those are the seven elements. He hits all seven of them and it's undeniable. He breaks through the noise. There is no stopping his message from not breaking through the noise yeah. because he hits all of the elements. And yeah. that's what we try to help people do with ideas that influence. Why take one vacation with the family when you could take all of them? With Royal Caribbean, you don't just go to the beach. You visit a private island and race down the tallest water slide in North America. You don't just go for a road trip. You ATV and zip line through the jungle. You don't just go somewhere new. You rappel down waterfalls and discover ancient temples. Because this isn't just any vacation. This is all the vacations. Come seek the Royal Caribbean. Ships Registry, Bahamas. Look, Bumble knows you're exhausted by dating. All the, must not take yourself too seriously, and 6-1 since that matters, and what do I even say other than, hey? <sighs> well, that's why they're introducing an all-new Bumble, with exciting features to make compatibility easier, starting the chat better, and dating safer. They've changed, so you don't have to. Download the new Bumble now. Yeah, excellent. Um... So, uh, well, you know, kind of talk about how people can uh, contact you and follow you and reach out to you and, um, uh, you know, and work with you, you know, check out your product. Um, I know you also got, uh, sounds like you got events and masterminds. Um, how can they, uh, you know, participate? Yeah, the way we love to start the uh, the uh, the relationship with you that's listening is I want to get you the box experience that we were just talking about in your hands for free. It's free plus shipping. <laughs> go to bigideasbox.com and the whole box experience with everything. And it te talks about the seven elements even more, gives all these examples. And the whole purpose of the box and the book and the entire experience is to help you come up with your own wildly successful marketing ideas that also break through the noise. So that's the best way to, to get the relationship going. Bigideasbox.com. Yeah, I love that. Talking with Daniel and, you know, really check out that product. Um, it's really cool and just kind of really uh, becoming influencer status. And uh, be sure to give Daniel a like and follow on socials. And thanks so much for coming on to the podcast. Thank you so much, Chris. You're amazing.